My next guest wrote one of the most interesting things I've read all year. In an article with a headline, How Bosses Are Literally Like Dictators, University of Michigan professor Elizabeth Anderson documented some shocking examples of big businesses abusing their workers. Amazon bans employees from talking to each other at work, calling this time theft. Apple searches through the belongings of its retail employees, making them wait in line for up to half an hour, deducting that time from their pay. And Tyson Foods prevents its poultry workers from using the bathroom. Some were forced to urinate on themselves while their supervisors mocked them. Elizabeth Anderson is the author of Private Government, How Employers Rule Our Lives and Why We Don't Talk About It. And she joins me now. Elizabeth, um, as I said, I, was, I, I thought your, your um, article was so provocative. What should we be doing about this problem of bosses behaving like dictators? What's that all about? Yes. So one of the things I think we need to be clear about is that when workers enter an employment contract with their employers, this isn't a free market exchange as we ordinarily understand it because they come under the authority of their bosses. Mm -hmm. So they're actually subject to a little government and the constitution of that government is a dictatorship. So you're comparing um, the relationship between an employee and, the, and their boss as a, a kind of government relationship. I think you talk about public government, which is the one we all think about, and then this is private government. That's right. It's private government in the sense that it's kept private from the workers in the sense that bosses say, it's none of your business what orders I'm going to give you. <laughs> this is what you have to obey. So I think that um, so some people might re recognize that comparison, and even conservatives who, who feel um, strongly about rights and, and so on might say, well, hang on a second. You can just leave. You can just go get another job if you don't like it. Why should we be getting in, worried about this? Well, one reason is the only choices that most workers have to leave, too, is another dictatorship. Doesn't seem like a good set of what options. What do you mean by that? Well, they would just enter another workplace where the boss gets to lord it over them. And so well, if, what, are the, what are the things that you would propose to actually do something about this? So there's a, I, I think about three basic ideas. So mm -hmm. one is to enhance exit options. Right. In many states, California is unusual in that they don't really have non-compete agreements. So tell us what a non-compete agreement is and why it matters. So a non-compete agreement says that when you accept an employment contract, mm -hmm. you sign a piece of paper that says if you quit, you're not allowed to work in the industry mm -hmm. for a number of years. So you mm -hmm. have to leave your talents and your skills behind if you find that the work's intolerable. So non-competes, I, I know the, the original idea was to protect sort of company secrets from sort of, you know, really top workers. Right. They is didn't that... want engineers walking off with the code. So what's wrong developed. with that? Why is that? That sounds okay to me. Well, California, Silicon Valley's doing just fine without it. <laughs> I don't think we need to put these So how many workers are affected by that? What kinds of people, I mean, would, are affected by this restriction on being able to move somewhere else? Right. Well, it used to be just a handful of elite workers who were creating intellectual property for the corporation, but now it's expanded. Now you have Jimmy John's workers who are just making sandwiches. They sign a piece of paper and now they can't quit and go work at Subway. And so that means what? That they can't negotiate better pay? They have to put up with They're these trapped. kinds of... Or they have to find a completely different... They have to abandon their skill set and skill up in something else to find jobs. Very interesting. Well, look, we're going to be able to talk about this more with the panel later on. Thank you so much for joining us. Really appreciate it.